Hello, welcome to Bentley's Backwards Bushcraft. This is Richard. I don't have the camera facing me because uh, there's a huge window behind me and it just washes everything out and you can't see crap. And I don't want to adjust a bunch of crap. So anyway, uh, this table is a mess right now. I've got right here uh, a bunch of deer droppings that I found out in the woods that I'm going to use to make... Uh, make some uh, glue with I still have the kids slingshots that I'm gonna make I haven't done that yet that's there uh, there's a sinker and a couple bobbers I found out in the woods yesterday my favorite kind of bobber I actually found but it was in the water and I didn't want to go digging it out <clears throat> I have Four of these containers I'm going to make little fishing kit, uh, fishing floats out of. Each, each one of the kids are going to get one. And I'm going to make one for myself. So there's that stuff. Now, uh, in the last couple weeks, we've had some shopping going on. So uh, this is, a uh, well, this has got nothing to do with the shopping. This is some wood planks I was going to make a project out of. I haven't done yet, so we'll leave that up there. So I think the rest of this stuff is all purchased items in the last few weeks. <clears throat> and camera out of the way. This is the junk camera that still works. See, the bottom of it is all hot glued, and it's hot glued on there. This doesn't come off anymore. There's electrical tape around here. It's a mess. The cap on the bottom is missing it but it still works and that thing has been dropped in water and all kinds of stuff dropped down hills <clears throat> so anyway uh, let's kind of adjust this to some form of something or other so what we'll do is we'll start with this item right here now I did not actually purchase this my my mother bought this for me it was ten bucks at Sam's Club it's a nine-in-one multi-tool so let's see here let's see if I can see what it says here it has a knife blade with safety liner lock a saw blade a single a single cut file bottle opener, Phillips screwdriver, slotted screwdriver, uh, long nose pliers, wire cutters, and a crimper. So there we go. So I thought that was kind of cool. So I have that. Pretty cool item. Now we went, uh, got this at the Dollar Tree. It's a uh, Easter decoration of some sort I don't really care about that I wanted the orange beads there's enough of beads on here to make two paste beads and I thought maybe orange paste beads would be kind of cool so I'm gonna make me a couple sets of uh, paste beads using these orange beads and again that was a dollar and a quarter <clears throat> uh, we went to uh, Dollar General today and Michelle found a couple things. Uh, I found this two-pack torch wick for a dollar. And I grabbed a pack of these. Uh, very nice. Never know when you're going to need those. Let's see here. We'll use all this stuff last. So we went to Walmart. And uh, due to... I mean, I have all this stuff around but I didn't want to dig it out and I didn't want to use it for this project I wanted something specific so these right here are going to be like little bottle fishing kits so what I'm gonna do is uh, I will drill a hole in the top and attach a cord which will run to uh, the bank so you can keep track of it uh, I will drill a hole in here and that's where the fishing line will go is inside here and it will have a, a sinker stopper right here so that you can adjust the length of line that comes out and the line will come out and then there will be a um, sinker and a hook 
down here so then you can just if you want to adjust the length of the line all you got to do is open it up take the sinker and move it up or down depending on how much line you want out and then you just throw this into the water and of course the sinker will be down here making this heavy and it'll float like a bobber and then your line will be down in the water and you use this for fishing so anyway uh, I purchased size 4 20 round uh, split shots I love these things uh, I got some barrel swivels because I, I love the swivels I got a pack of uh, size 2 there's 10 hooks in here and 20 pound 600 yards of 20 pound test line uh, I'm not going to jack around with two or three pound test line uh, that's good for when you're wanting to fish for fun but when you're fishing for food you don't want the line to break so there's some 20 pound line so those and I will do a video specifically on making those and I'll go ahead and here in the next few days make these four floats so there we go with that now uh, I did mention in my videos that I made yesterday, which was Sunday, which was uh, a couple walking in the woods videos, I did mention that today we should be getting our Timu order in, and we did. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and go through and show you what I got from the Timu. If you want to see all of it, you can go over to Michelle's uh, YouTube channel, Way to Sun, W A Y. T-O-S-O-N. And oh, by the way, look, I'm wearing her shirt today. So there you go. Way to sun. So I have her YouTube shirt on. Uh, I don't have any more of my YouTube shirts. Um, I ought to go and check and see if they're still available and order a couple of them. But anyway, uh, here's the team order that I got. So let's see here. Let's start with this. This is something I've been wanting for several years, but they're so expensive I refuse to buy them. Uh, at the stores, these things are like 30, cheap ones are 30 bucks. Uh, they're, they're silencers for um, bows and arrows. So I got myself a, an arrow silencer for one of my bows. I've been wanting one of these for a while. This was only around five bucks. So I'm excited because I'm never gonna spend thirty dollars on one. Even when I found them, like on clearance, they've been like twenty-five bucks. Uh, no. So anyway, got one finally after many years of winning. Let's see here. Uh, I have been getting into alternative weaponry. Uh, I'm not really a gun person. I'm just not. Uh, I'm not saying that I don't I don't have any or they're not available to me or anything like that. I'm just saying I'm really not into guns. Uh, I prefer a knife. Knives never run out of bullets. So, uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, atolatls are another thing that I'm really super excited about and I have been for several years now. Uh, an atolatl is just a giant spear, a wooden spear that uh, let me grab it real quick hold on I'll show you all right so the spear is really nothing more than like a six six and a half foot long arrow a spear uh, the atolatl part is this little object right here that is used to project it so it lays the tip of it holds it in here and it lays across here and you lob it with this device here which uh, enables you to throw the spear much further um, I love this weapon it's it's fantastic I'm not super super great with it but I'm not bad either uh, I will say though honestly not to pat myself on the back but I am better than the average person because most people have never even touched an atolatl. Most people don't even know what an atolatl is. So anyway, uh, <clears throat> I love the atolatl. Uh, I've also been getting into slingshots. Now, uh, uh, I've got myself a, um, 
a ball maker, uh, like a, a lead ball maker for, for like uh, muskets and stuff like that. It's a 50 cal, pretty big bullet. Um, but I'm going to make lead shot for my slingshot and see how that works. If I have to go down a size, um, I'll, I'll go ahead and order probably a 9mm uh, sized ball and do those as well. But I'm going to try the 50 out first. Anyway, uh, slingshots is something I've been getting into recently. i say uh, maybe a year or two now. And uh, because I've been interested in the slingshot, I turned my slingshot into a bow, so not only can I shoot balls from it, I can also shoot arrows out of it. Now, uh, that has flown into me being interested in fishing with a slingshot. So that's basically what this haul kind of is. So anyway, here is a, a leather pouch, and this is real leather. I mean, this is amazing. This was only like three bucks or something like that. And this is actual real leather. This thing would be $20, $30 easy if I was to try to buy it here. Maybe even more. But anyway, it has a little pouch here that you can stick your slingshot in. And then you have an ammo pouch right here. The ammo goes in here. And on the bottom, there's a nice little opening that you're slingshot ball will come out so you don't have to open it up and stick your hand in there you can just pop the bottom off and the ammo comes out the bottom so that is really cool a little slingshot pouch that goes on um, a belt of some sort now uh, <clears throat> well let's just open up this so again this all came from China and, and it's it's pretty cool though. Uh, this is an entire kit. This is a slingshot fishing kit. Now it doesn't come with the slingshot but it comes with everything else. So here is the reel and this is kind of heavy. I think this is a little heavy honestly. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> made in China. Little Chinese writing there. That's Actually I think that's kind of cool. Although I'm really not into Chinese um, I don't know it's just cool so anyway uh, this here and what happens is when you're fishing with a slingshot you have this little wrist pouch this little wristband here all right and it goes on let's see if I can go ahead and get it on here Okay, so it sits here like this and it's on and the fishing and there's a couple screws right here that you unscrew and it comes with it comes with a little screwdriver here. So what you do is you unscrew these little screws and then you attach the fishing reel here like this and it goes on your arm and it sits on here like this, right? So then you have your slingshot in your hand and let's go ahead and detach all this. And we will open this just enough to pull out one of these arrows, darts I should say. All right, so your fishing line attaches to this piece of cord here. All right, and then you use your slingshot, and instead of shooting ball, you shoot this arrow, this little dart, and it fits in here. You pull it back, and you shoot it out. It hits the fish, and when it hits the fish, it sticks inside the fish, and there's these two little barbs here. So when it goes in, it doesn't, it hooks onto them, and it doesn't come out. So instead of shooting balls, we shoot these little darts. And we basically fish with these and because the fishing line is attached to it and it's attached to your wrist and I'm gonna have to adjust this oh there we go boom here I may have to adjust this because I'm left-handed but it goes on my left hand I'll have to reel it with my right anyway so it might be alright so it attaches to my wrist like this here with that little uh, band and then dark shoots out hits the fish 
and then you just reel it in just like you would a fish uh, regular fishing um, rod so I got that <clears throat> I have some of these bands that are specifically designed for those arrows darts so it's got this nice little piece of line here instead of a pouch it's got this and of course the it's like this here little rubber band boom here so the darts will sit on this here and I can pull it back and then fire and then that fires it into the fish so I got 10 of these bands and let's see okay two more items oh. so I got an extra band this was a couple bucks I got an extra band that's just like this one here pretty cool and lastly Michelle decided she was gonna get me some uh, clay ammo from my slingshot and I believe these are like nine millimeter size maybe but they're little clay balls that I can shoot with my uh, my slingshot and I can't read because well I don't have my glasses on and it looks like it's mainly in Chinese anyways I can't really tell but regardless they're clay they're clay uh, clay shot for a slingshot it's supposed to be a hundred of them in there so anyway that is uh, everything I've gotten over the last few weeks uh, I got my fishing slingshot sets all that stuff that goes goes with that my pouch my uh, my silencer for my one of my bows some fishing gear to create these little fishing bobbers uh, I did get like I said these two wicks which uh, you never know what I'll use those for these beads here I'm gonna make some orange ranger beads or uh, paste beads whichever you want to call them pretty cool and then lastly my mom got me this 9-in-1 multi-tool set so there we go so that's that's everything I've gotten over the last couple weeks and uh, who knows what will happen in another couple weeks I try to try to limit my purchasing um, and I try to limit it to uh, just outdoor stuff at this point you know at one point I was getting martial art stuff as well but I'm kind of pulling back on that a little bit so I don't want to purchase a lot of martial art gear I'm not really pulling back on the training so much as just purchasing new stuff. I don't just don't think I need to do that. Uh, so that's basically what I do is my outdoor stuff at this point. And of course movies. There, you know, I get movies on occasion. So anyway, there we go. Thank you guys for watching Bentley's Backwards Bushcraft. And enjoy the outdoors. Even if it's just your own backyard. Or Bentley's Bunker. <laughs>